and the Oscar goes to Hikaru Nakamura. Okay, here we go. So we'll start with black. Okay, so he plays G3. So I'm going to play the King's Indian defense. Um, it is it is definitely a legendary opening to start with. Do I have pre-moves enabled? I probably do, right? Uh, do I have pre-moves? Um, enable pre-moves, auto-promote to queen. That's good. That's good, yeah. Okay, so he plays nice. So now here I can play D5, just take center. But again, King's Indian is very, very solid. Now, of course, White is playing with Knight C3 and E4, so it's actually 1 E4. Those of you guys who are following my chess career back in the early 2000s, one opening that I had a hole in was when my opponents would play G3 on move 1. I never played D5, C6, or C5, these structures with 1 D5. So when my opponents played G3, they were actually able to trick me into getting into the modern system with G3, Bishop G2, and E4. Again, I won a famous game against Bartosz Sachko from Poland, I think 2003 in Bermuda, uh, where it was this uh, this uh, modern system with G3, Bishop G2, and the Fianchito. But nonetheless, um, nonetheless, it is a pretty legendary setup. Let's go H6 here. And now my opponent got his bishop trap. Now, g5 is a thematic move that can happen, but normally when you trap a bishop, the reason that you play the king's zinnian is to play e5 to build this nice chain in the center. Whether it's with the knight on d7 or c6, you're always looking for that pawn thrust. So let's take with the pawn. Bro, I was only born, born in 2001. That's life. So I will just take the bishop, take with the rook. This is looking pretty good so far. What's the difference between the King's Indian and the Grunfeld? Normally in the Grunfeld, what you're trying to do is play d5 and contest the center very quickly. In the King's Indian, you don't care if white gets a big center. You're trying to play d6 and push for e5 most of the time. Sometimes you play c5 and you play the Benoni, Benoni Juan Kenobi, but most of the time you're playing for d6 and e5. Most of the time. Play for fun? I am playing for fun. I'm trying to explain what I'm doing. But why is my man so so slow here? I'm going to play knight c4, attack the pawns on, on e3, e3 and b2. Ken, I'm happy to trade the queens here. I, I'd much rather queens are off the board. The Benoni Wan Kenobi, I take. I fork the rook and the queen. This game will be over very soon. I'm recording a video or something. No, this is live, you guys. This is a live stream. There's a big difference. Time to resign. Let's move on to the next game. I'll just take the pawn. I'll just try to trade off all the materials as quickly as I can here. Let's trade the knights off again. I'm, I have an extra bishop on the board, so I just trade off all the pieces and I should win the game. Okay, I'm happy to trade. Again, I don't care. I'll just keep trading off everything because I have an extra extra minor piece on the board here. So I will just trade again. Let's go here, stop him from winning a piece. And now I have a rook, bishop, knight, rook, bishop. Just stop the pawn from moving. No kebab, by the way, because the knight covers a critical square. So let's see what he does. Thanks so much to Sergeant Spreadham for the 24, Dodo Danchas for the 10, Milky Moose for the 15, Error for the 3, Sage of Shade for the 2, and Lou Dog James for the 24. Oh no, I hung my net knight. Oh man, what am I doing? Oh, such a bad blunder. Except it's not a blunder because the rook is trapped here. Rook has no good squares to go to. And of course, as you guys can tell from my username, do I get an Oscar for that acting performance with Bishop F8 or not? Um, that's the big question. Thank you so much to G Chosi for the Prime. Thank you so much to Bebub for the Prime as well. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Yeah. And the winner is, yes, the winner is exactly. Needs more emotion, right? Right. So I just take the rook. Now I have an extra extra tower, and the rest will be very simple. React harder? Okay. Let's go King G7, just guard the pawn. Doesn't matter. I'll even pre I'll just pre-move the rest of the game because this is supposed to be a speed run. We'll even get a classic kebab. Am I Christian? I'm not religious, you guys. Sorry. I, I mean I'm I'm not a fan of religion in general. Let's play Bishop B3. I take it now. I'm just going to uh, create the classic right triangle checkmate in the corner here. It resigns. Let's keep going. Next game. Of course, I'm manually updating the score, so that's number one. So at five, I will update the score. 
So he plays E5. So let me pull up my notepad. What are the legendaries? I have Evans Gambit. I have um, the Rui Lopez, the Italian. So basically, I have a whole plethora of E4, E5 openings. Knight takes E5 is the Halloween Gambit. But the Halloween Gambit is not as exciting. So let's go for the Jerome. Jerome is what? Bishop C4 and Bishop F7, I believe. Right, it's Bishop F7, Knight E5, isn't it? Okay, but also the fried... Is the fried liver on here? Fried liver is not on here. Or no, it is on here. So let's go for the fried liver with Knight G5, of course. So we, we have a lot of Bishop C4 lines. So I'll take fried liver time. This, by the way, is usually winning for white. They call this, of course, Il Figatello in classic Italiano. So um, this is the fried liver. Don't ask me why they call it that, but they, they call it that. Now, King E6 was the only move to guard the knight. After King E8, I just take, and now I'm going to create the classic pyramid checkmate on F7. More like a fried knight. Is there a checkmate here? This looks like Puzzle Rush, kind of. I'm going to try to go get a checkmate. This looks very much like Puzzle Rush. Let's go check. I feel like I've seen a puzzle very similar to this in Puzzle Rush, but maybe it's... Actually, I mean, I guess I just win the queen. Let's check him, though, because surely he'll go back to d7, right? I mean, obviously, that's the only move here. Oh, he didn't go there. Very sad. I was hoping to go to d7, I'd get checkmate on e6, but I'll win anyway. I'll update the score manually. There we go. Checkmate. Next game. Two up, two down. I'll update it at five, you guys. I did not know he spoke Italian. Yeah, Italiano. E bella lingua. Okay, so d4. I'm going to play knight of six and g6 here and play the king's Indian again, as always. Neo Jinhawk just subscribed. No, the first game doesn't count, you guys. Doesn't. I'm going to play g6 and play the Shana king's Indian against Mr. Bean. Just subscribed. Oh, it's Il Fegatello, not Figatello. Fegatello? Actually, you are right. Yeah, it's an E, not an I. Yes, I speak. I, I know how to speak Italian, so that makes me uh, gay. Thank you. That should be an auto ban. Thank you for that. Ridiculous. You go from playing Dubov to playing. Why? Why are all these guys not moving? I, I don't. I don't get this. Did I miss something? Speak American. American. Yeah. Why? Why? Why, why is Mr. Bean not moving here? Would I collab with the famous Italian streamer Tumblr? I don't know who Tumblr is, sorry. Okay, I'm going to update the score. This game is not going to count either, so I'm going to stop the clock before I waste any more time. Four is going to be 2 0, I think. So let me adjust this. Wins 2 0. There we go. Play a new game. Let's play e4. Okay. Let's play knight f3. Okay. Now he plays the Petrov. I don't think we have something against the Petrov. So if I'm thinking about the Petrov at a very low level, I think it's just a terrible opening so I can take the pawn. Yeah. See, because at this level, you play like XQC and you play knight e4, queen e2, and you're just going to lose the game. That's why you can't play the uh, you can't play the Petrov at a beginner level. Yeah, now I go knight c6, classic check, winning the game. Petrov, impossible opening to play at a beginner level. Impossible opening to play. Stafford Gambit, you can try, but but again, XQC lost probably five to ten games like this, and that's just not going to get it done. Let's keep going with e4. Okay, Scandinavian is on our list for legendary openings. Now, if I'm playing this with white, I'll tell you how I'd play this. I would actually play this move knight f3 so I can develop very quickly on the king side and then play knight c3 and d4. Now, if he's going to try to play in the center too quickly, I will start attacking the queen with d's knights. D's knights, very, very well placed here. And just like that, game over. Again, very tough opening to play if you forget what the basic concept is. My opponent did not realize he had to move the queen to a5. That being said, that's why you need to know. That's why you need to know what your basic plan is. Because if your opponent surprises you with a move and you don't know what to do, you just lose instantly. Take the queen. Take the pawn. Look at these knights. Uh, I guess I'll go knight g5. Try to win this as quickly as possible. Go check. Tumblr won the Italian edition of PogChamps. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't really follow much. I mean, some of the Spaniards I follow a little bit, like Gref G and Ibai, but 
I, I don't follow. I mean, I, I haven't. I mean, I guess there's El Rubius as well, although I haven't. I haven't followed him that much um, lately. Okay, so it's three zero. Let's keep going. Thank you so much to Brandino, Chess, thank you, Jibs, thank you, Neo Jin Hawk, Mbot, and Joya Yayu as well. Appreciate it. But yeah, those are the ones that I kind of follow are Gref G and um, Gref G and uh, Ebai. So I'll keep playing the King's Zinni every game. You speak Italian or French? I mean, I, I used to speak Italian fairly decently. These days, my Italian is pretty, pretty terrible, and mostly it's gotten replaced by Spanish. But um, yeah, let's go here, Bishop G7, of course, standard King's Indian setup. So we're at 3-0 because there were a couple of no-shows. One more and I'm out, indeed. Okay. Um, I guess here I will castle. Oh, what? Did he just resign? Okay, now it's 4-0. So let's go E4. Let me let me adjust this. Let me adjust. I'm going to win this game too. So let's put it at 5-0. Just save it. Okay, let's take on D5 here. He's playing Scandinavian. I'll play Knight F3 again with Bishop E2 and Castle. Standard setup. I think there's a fat head for the six months. Again, B6 is not the right setup. If you play the Scandinavian, you play any of these openings, you got to know the first three to four moves. B6 is not the move. Fat head 88, just resubbed for six did I see Karyak and tweet? No, what did he tweet? Did he tweet something uh, something of interest? I think it was Sean for the 16 months. It's going to castle here. A very standard castles. Just to put 200 zero. Exactly. Yep. Shanison just subscribed. Yay! Okay, now I'm going to play D4, maybe D5 here. Maybe Bishop B5. Thank you so much to Hoffs for the 19 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Hoffs. Good luck. Goes Knight B4. I guess I'll play Rookie 1 here. Pressure on the uh, center. Okay, Castles. I'm going to play Knight to G5. Just go for the kill here. Let's see what he's going to do here. So let's see what what um what ex Babagooks is going to play cuz the queen is under attack here. What about the disrespect? We pretty much finished that. When we got close to 3000. This will be game number 5. So resigns, let's keep going. These early games a little bit boring. Okay, now he plays D4. So again, what do we have on the list that's not a King's Zinni? I feel like I'm just going to speed run the King's Zinni. Now he plays the Trump House Key, which is an interesting opening. I still think at the beginner level against the Trump House Key, you should still play G6 takes and Bishop G7. Just keep it very, very simple here because your king is very safe in this nest with the Bishop and the Pawns. And what you want to do is go here, push the Pawn, and open up this long scope on the diagonal. Open up the scope. So I'll go here and play F5 and open the scope right away. It's castle now i played f5 because now you can tell look at this great king's indian bishop uh i guess i'll just play d6 to develop the knight why not develop the knight now i'm really want to go like knight e4 and open it up i can also just play a6 b5 b4 idea to put my knight here where he can't capture and then he gets scoped go here remove the pony so i can put the jumbo horse here go here knight e4 next move great position That's not going to get it done, my friend. I just take. Bro, I can't upgrade from this level. And you say it's boring. I'm just going to go here again. Continue this plan to use the scope. Yay! This is why if you do face the Trump house, you take, push, and open up the diagonal for the bishop. Very critical to have this open diagonal. Just take with check. Love.
let's go queen f6 and probably rook b1 i'm forced to see elo i'm proud that's fantastic we all start out somewhere for anybody who thinks that i was always great at chess i wasn't my very first tournament i lost every single game that i played so everybody starts out at a certain level and where you go from there i mean you have your own journey but everyone was bad once upon a time or ever sorry everyone started out at a certain level actually i should be careful how i phrase that because then that comes across like oh if you're 460 you're bad um let's make a check here uh <laughs> okay now i'm just gonna go checkmate on b2 with the queen let's keep going no i was seven years old uh let's keep playing e4 wow everybody is playing the scandinavian what is doesn't anybody watch an opening video on YouTube like that I've done or Lovey's done or somebody's done? I mean, this is not how you play the Scandinavian. Why do they play D5 and then E5? I don't understand it. The answer is no to that? Apparently, yeah. Go D4 here, maybe Queen F3 or Bishop D3. Also Bishop G5. I'm gonna update the score to 10 0. This is gonna be game number, uh, this will be win number seven. So let's just update it to 10. So after this, we'll win three more. Good D6. We're developing our tactics. Well, it's, I'm roasting them because it feels like on move number two, you should actually know the first like two to three moves, and then whatever happens, happens, but you should know the first two moves. Just give up a pawn. That's the real opening. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I'll just keep pushing P as well. I've got P here, so... In your journey where you taught opening lines earlier, did that come later? That came a little bit later. I would say that came when I was about like, I would say when I was around like 1,000 level, probably 1,000 or a little bit above is when I started learning like actual like openings to do. That, that, that's what I would say. It was, it was around 1,000. Before that, it was just like knowing very, very basic stuff. Not not knowing anything, basically. Good night, A4 here. Let's just take the bishop here. Checkmate. That's game number seven. So three more to ten. This is legendary openings at the beginner beginner level that we're playing. But none of the games have really been close. Okay, so I will play bishop c4 again. Will we get the fried liver with knight f6? Or will Mr. Is that Paraguay or Argentina? Oh, look. Whoops. Um, uh, never mind. Okay, plays a6 here. I guess I'll try to play... We do have the Danish gambit, which is d4, c3. So I'll play a, an abridged version of the Danish. Um, go c3 here. And I will just castle. I'm giving away all these pawns, but I get this massive development advantage. Look at these bishops. This knight, and I'm castled. Already very, very good. Look at, look at these ops. They're angling. Queen can come out. I can finish my development. He's got uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Siete pieces undeveloped. So he goes d6 now. He wants to develop, but I'm going to try to stop him right away by going e5 and just opening up the board instantly because all these pieces have not been moved. Let's go here. Just a lot of pressure to deal with. I can take on f7. I can play h3 here to hit the bishop. I can also go rook c1 next move. There's queen f3. Everything is very, very loose here. Look at look at the look at D's knights. Look at the king. Look at rook c1. Look at bishop d5. I've got this massive advantage, massive, massive advantage in development. And black is in a lot of trouble here. I'm canceled for saying uh saying Argentina. No, 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 of course not. Oops, there is checkmate. Number eight in the books. So let's keep going. Okay, so he plays z4. Let's play the Siciliano here. Um Siciliano is a uh, a good opening to play. I would say when you play Siciliano, we do have the uh, we do have the I think the accelerated dragon on the list. So we'll try to play the accelerated dragon by bringing the knight out. Now I actually like this guy's setup. It's completely reasonable. I'm gonna stop the checkmate. Playing like knight c3 and bishop c4 and d3 and knight g2 with queen f3 is not a terrible setup at a beginner level. Go here. Let's 
There goes the pony. Oh, Daniel recommended the Accelerated Dragon too? Aha. Yeah, I think Sicilian is a very good opening at the beginner level with the black piece. I think it, because generally the themes are pretty straightforward. Like the setup, you know what you're trying to get. That's, the, that's, that's what you do know. So let's cast. I can play knight d4 here. Uh, there goes the other pony. Thank you so much. How do I get pink arrows? Uh, because I'm, I'm special. I'm special. I'm up to, I'm up to ponies. D's knights, very, very useful. Let's go here. Fork the bishop and the queen. And D's knights, D's knights, just too good. There goes the queen. Typical Botez gamble. Let's go bishop h3, knight f5, queen g2. We're going to go for the classic lolly checkmate on g2 with the queen and the bishop. This was a checkmate that we've seen many times. I think Paul Morphy had this, uh, I, he, he had this checkmate in many games early in his career or before he quit, I should say. So ideas with bishop h3 and double pawns were very prevalent in, in some of his games. Let's keep going. That's number nine, I believe. So this will be number 10. Now I'm going to show you guys how to play Scandinavian because it is on our list of um of legendary openings and the reason it's legendary is because your setup like see if they play knight c3 what you do is you trade bring out the bishop and then you close the diagonal once the bishop is outside the diagonal here see if the bishop is if, if you go like e6 here the bishop's behind the pawn no scope but once you bring the bishop out now it's outside and now you develop everything else and with the bishop outside of this pawn it's a great great piece because of the scope that it has so now what do i do bishops out pawns out finish the rest of my development so let's go bishop d6 here now, I could play queen h4, but it's not in the spirit of the theme, so let's play knight f6. Goes g4. Okay, I, I have to punish him. He needs to be taught a lesson that you can't really be this, this crazy with your openings. You can't just push pawns and not develop your pieces. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces on their home square, so... He needs a little bit of tough love, so I'm going to play Queen H4 check, and this is going to probably end very, very badly for White. I feel like I should be paying for this chess teaching session. Well, you could always sub VR Shab. You could always sub sub to the channel. Okay, I'm going to go check, and this is going to end very badly, very quickly for my opponent. I guess I'll pre-move this check. I'm going to take. Oh wait, no wait. He can play Queen takes G4. Oh no. Oh, you can. I just hung the bishop right. Oh, he missed it. He could have taken, but it was made. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take the bishop. It actually didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. Somehow I didn't end up winning material. You would have millions of dollars in your bank. Why would I subscribe? Thank you. Let's take it, move the queen back. Now my queen is safe. Nothing can touch the queen. And I just move the knight and I finish my development. And eventually I bring the rooks into the game and it's going to be a big party. Let's castle. Let's just take the knight. I think this is number 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 